Coming up on this week's Faz TV, we have headed north to Caithness to hear from Willie Mackay about the AI services that he is providing to farmers across the county. For 55 years, Willie has been helping farmers select bulls which will provide the genetics for future proofing their herds. As AI technology has moved forward, farmers have a wider selection of bulls and now there is the ability to use sex semen to produce females for future replacements. Yes, I'm Willie Mackay, known locally as AI Willie. Now, how did I land with that name of AI Willie? Well, this is my 55th year of providing an insemination service for cattle in the county of Caithness, up as far as Benny Hill, down to Brora, and back up to John O'Groat. I wonder, now how did I get involved in AI cattle breeding? Well, in 1968, I was working at the College of Agriculture. And across the road from the college um, boundaries was the AI cattle breeding service. Now I never knew what the AI was all about, but however, a gentleman came to me there in late 69 and he says, do you know where Wick is in Caithness? I says, yes, certainly I know where that is. Well, we're looking for an AI man to go to Wick and inseminate cattle. And I says to him, what's this AI anyway? Well, look, he says, don't worry about it. Now the thing is, you get a new car every year. So I says, I'll take the job. So that's how I landed uh, in getting involved with AI cattle breeding. And I was run by the Aberdeen Milk Marketing Board at the time in Bucksburg. So after a crash course, three months, running around Aberdeenshire, they sent me up here to Caithness and I started inseminating cattle along with another guy at the time. And during that time here in Caithness, there was something like 30,000 cows in this area. 30,000. And at the height of the insemination during May, June, July and August, we were getting about 60 calls a day. 60 calls a day between us. And with no time for tea or drums or anything at all or refreshments, it was AI, AI the whole day long. And the cost was only two pound. <laughs> two pound for an insemination. <laughs> And I thought, hey, this is great, they'll never make money at this. However, 1973, the Milk Marketing Board, who was running the surveys from Aberdeen, decided to put a 50 pence fee on the charge for a repeat. If the cow didn't sell, then she came back three weeks later. It was 10 shillings for a repeat. Oh, that did not go down very well with the farmers, believe you me. 50 pounds, 50 pence nowadays, 10 shillings, however. So, however, it was good. Now, after the first three years I came here, uh, there was a scheme called a brucellosis scheme to eradicate that from the cattle in Caithness. And the vets, along with the vets, they got clear of the brucellosis. So what happened then was the farmers got all the bulls back in again, and the chap that was with me, he went back to Aberdeen. So I've been on my own ever since, 1973, providing the surveys. And as I said, I'm in my 55th year. Nowadays, there's only something like 14 and a half thousand breeding cattle in this area, the whole of Caithness, up to Berry Hill and Brora. There's only less than half what there was when I started first. But however, two of the biggest changes in AI that came in the 70s was the introduction of continental cattle. Before that, we had Aberdeen Angus, Hereford, a Shorthorn, and you perhaps had Ayrshire and Frisian. But then in came the Continentals, Limousine, Charlie, Cementals, Mainonju, Marsigiana, uh, Kianina, and latterly came the Belgian Blues, exotic cattle. And the farmers in Caithness really took to these cattle, and today, the Limousine breed is one of the most popular breed in the whole county that is used extensively. And the second biggest change that made a huge difference to AI was the introduction of liquid nitrogen to keep the bull semen frozen. Which means if you put a straw of semen into liquid nitrogen, it would be there indefinitely until it was taken out. So the oldest stuff I have in the tank here was put in the container in 1979. 1979. 
and it's still as good the day it went in because it's frozen in liquid nitrogen until it's thawed out. So it's really, really good. So I offer a service to the farmers here in Caithness and, like I say, North Sutherland and East Sutherland, uh, seven days a week, seven days a week. Sometimes people call me the flying bull service, <laughs> but I'm better known as AI Woolly. I get that the whole time. So I quite enjoy that, I quite enjoy that. But the great secret about AI and the benefits is just fantastic because they've got variety. Most of the farmers here in the county will have a bull, maybe a limousine or a charlie or a cemental, maybe two bulls. But in the back of my container there's 20 different breeds available every day for the farmers. The popular bulls, the popular breeds are always there. Your limousine, cemental, Belgian blue, Aberdeen Angus, they're there the whole time. But apart from that, if any of the farmers want some, uh, some rare breeds, then I can supply rare breeds as well. Breeds which are nearly extinct, like uh, perhaps Shetland cattle and things like that. And Whitbread Short, and there's such a variety of them. So all that is available for the farmers to use. The variety, they've got the variety. Now the only other little hiccup is that the farmer has got to go out and detect the cow in season. Whereas if you put the bull into the field, he'll do the whole lot for you. The whole lot, or he should be able to do the whole lot. But, <laughs> but the farmers are going to keep an eye on the cattle and watch them jumping on each other. And once they start bouncing and jumping, that's a pattern which occurs every three weeks, uh, or 21 days, 20 days, then they phone me up to say the cow's in season, you know. Now, when I started the AI first, there was a little hiccup too because the farmers were so used to going to the bull whenever the cow came into season. They would get her on a halter and away to the bull. But that doesn't work with AI because that's too early for AI the first day when the cow comes into season. For AI, for inseminations, you're better leaving it until the second day of heat because there's such a big window before the egg comes out of the ovaries and what we're doing is when we when we go through the insemination process we're pushing the semen up the re reproductive tract to catch the egg coming down the fallopian tubes whereas the bull served the cow yesterday with a cupfuls more than what we've got in the straw semen and it swims through to meet the egg so that was another big big hiccup we had as I said convincing the farmers convincing them that look this is too early for the AI leave it till the next day but if the cow didn't settle three weeks later it's the first bullocking you got I told you you were too late you were too late coming the second day that's no use you should have come the first day but that doesn't happen nowadays nowadays they're really schooled up and they appreciate they appreciate that this is the system, this is how it works and the advantages are quite enormous really when they've got a selection of bulls, proven bulls, bulls that can leave an excellent calf and uh, the rewards are just pretty outstanding. Well I think the future of AI is, is absolutely fantastic because the procedure of AI inseminating a cow has never changed. It's there right from the start how you go about proceeding to, to inseminate semen into a cow. And talking about the history, just let me mention the AI was introduced to Britain after the war time, late 40s, 50s, by the English Milk Marketing Board, the Scottish Milk Marketing Board and the Aberdeen Milk Marketing Board. And that was primarily for dairy cattle. Dairy cattle that were out grazing through the morning and day in for milking at night and they were so easy in and out their sheds to, to get inseminations. So when the AI started it was for, for dairy cattle, Ayrshire, Frisian mainly. But over the years the boards diminished. A certain person decided to do away with boards, potato boards, milk boards, egg boards, the whole lot. And three companies formed. One was called Genus, Genus, that was the former English Milk Marketing Board. They took over the service, they were a private company, they're based in Chester. The other was um, Cogent, they're down in England as well. 
they have a stud of bulls, and UK sires, they're in Devon. That's the three breeders or producers of bull semen where I get semen from. Now, how do I get the semen here? Well, I put an order in and they set it up in a liquid nitrogen flask, a Dewar flask, half the size of the one I'll show you in the boot. And it's up here by courier within two or three days and I transfer it then into my Dewar flask. Now over the years there have been quite a few people and farmers in the county here keen to do AI themselves and I welcome that, I really do, because it's more people using AI, more than what I could do. So I have three or four people here in the county which I help to train up and they're doing well. But, but sometimes when it's quite tricky manipulating inside a cow, they get a wee bit disillusioned and they say oh I'm not doing too well at this. So practice and practice is the main thing. The more they practice, the better they'll get at it and the more they will use AI. The advantages are just fantastic. If they're willing to put a lot of work into it, cut your cows in season, they've got such a variety of bulls to use, then they will, the future is, is really good. The future is fantastic. With, with such amount of breeds available, then they just can't go wrong and it is so rewarding. Now the one thing about the county here and the farmers when they're using these exotic bulls, for example limousine, Belgian blues, they produce show calves. And I'm pretty proud of the people in the farmers to Caithness here because they can compete, well Caithness is a stock rearing county for cattle and sheep and the farmers and crofters here can produce quality cattle that can compete in the sale ring or in the show ring. Anywhere, the length and breadth of Scotland. They really do well here on this stock rearing county. So uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm from the younger people who are keen, keen to learn. And I'm keen to learn them as well because, well, I can't go on forever, can I? <laughs> I've done my first 55 years. <laughs> so, but it's good to see. And, I'm, I'm trying to train them up to keep the service in the county. And if I get them to a certain standard, I'll say, look, why don't you offer a service in the parish as well, wherever you are. There are 10 parishes in this county. So look, it wouldn't be take an awful lot for you to say, I'll inseminate a cow for you or your neighbor or whatever. So I'm pretty confident that this will go on and on for generations to come, that the AI cattle breeding service will survive and continue the great work along with the farmers who are very keen to to push good quality cattle and as you can tell yourself in the show ring or in the steel ring they are they're doing remarkably well with quality cattle yes well this is a smeral up on lather and wheel now it's approximately about two miles off the main a9 road on the east coast of caithness and it's an area that i've been serving here through the AI cattle breeding service for the past 55 years. Uh, it's quite a large area, the whole uh, of Caithness that I do serve. It's something like 650 square miles. But we're right rural here now. We're right rural, and it's behind me here, as you can see, we've got 11 breeding cattle, which are all after the A insemination, and uh, they all, as I say, come out of the tank uh, with frozen semen. So today we are going to inseminate a cow that was on heat yesterday. And uh, I always say that the second day of heat is about the best optimum time for insemination. What we're going to use here today is one of the great advantages and techniques in AI of sexed semen. Now that is a really tremendous boost and it's the Cogent Breeding Company in uh, Chester down there in England who devised a procedure to separate the sperm, male and female, and that started about two years ago. And here at uh, Ian Black's Croft here, used some sex semen last year and they were successful, very successful in getting heifer calves. So today again we have another cow on heat yesterday and we're going to use a Hereford sexed semen straw to leave a female heifer. Uh, Ian has used short horn and Aberdeen Angus sex in the last year or two as well and it really is a tremendous opportunity to get a replacement heifer calf rather than buying in from, from other means. 
So that's our procedure today. And uh, as you can see, these cows, they don't run away from you when, you when you approach them. Now, some cows, they're not very well used to a lot of people, and they'll take off. But we've got a unique situation here, absolutely unique situation, which you will see where Ian Black will go into that field with a pair of corn and the cows will all run towards him. They just come right in here. And he'll pick one out, the one for AI, and tie her up here, just a little rope around her neck, and hold her against his gate, and she won't move. We'll be able to inseminate her standing here in the open, fresh air. As you can see today, it's really fresh today. So, um, otherwise, if it was a larger farm or cows that weren't so, so readily uh, so docile, then we would have a crate handy and it would be much easier for me to inseminate here and there. But this is, this is sort of the natural way for AI. Out in the open, the cows are quiet, they're well fed, and today this cow is going to get a straw of six Hereford semen and hopefully Hopefully, in nine months and one week's time, 285 days, we will have a lovely heifer calf here on the ground at Smeral. I am Ian Black. We're at Smeral here in Lather Wheel, Caithness, and we're going to be doing a coup of the day for uh, we are artificial insemination. Let's see if we can get a, a heifer calf over. The coup that we're doing the day, she's, she tends to put everything into the calf. So the last one that she had was a, a stock calf, and it was a thumper, just an absolute belter. But it's a bit hard on her because she's a little coo. So we'll go for six seam in the day, see if we can get a heifer, and it'll be a, a bit easier on her. We've chosen to do AI over the years because we get the cream of the crop as far as bulls go. You're getting the best blood you can get, which we wouldn't have been able to afford to buy, you know, if we were using bulls. So my dad before me, he was using Willie for, uh, well, uh, between my dad and myself, we've been using Willie for 55 years now. So it gives a great service. Like I say, we couldn't afford to, to buy the bulls or the quality that we can get from Willie. So that's why we, 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 we use AI. But it's a fantastic service. But over the years, we, we're doing it the way we do it. Our cattle are getting quieter and quieter and easier to handle. So it's, it's a lot less hassle than taking a cattle crush from field to field to field with a tractor. So we'll get a, a pail of barley in a while, get her out done, fingers crossed, she'll behave herself. 